Hello, and welcome to my YouTube video about conditional formatting in Excel from Learn Now Your Learning Partner. In this video, we will explore what conditional formatting is and how to apply conditional formatting in Excel with examples now. Let's dive into some examples of how to apply conditional formatting in Excel. Highlighting cells based on cell value. Suppose you have a list of employees and you want to highlight the cells that contain salaries greater than $50,000. To do this, select the cells that contain the salaries, then go to the Home tab and click on the Conditional Formatting drop-down menu. Select Highlight Cell Rules, then Greater Than, and enter the value of 50,000. Excel will then highlight all cells with salaries greater than $50,000 in the selected range. Applying data bars to a range of cells Let's say you have a list of employee each quarter of the year, and you want to see which quarters have the employee. To do this, select the range of cells containing the employee, then go to the Home tab and click on the Conditional Formatting drop-down menu. Select Data Bars, then choose a color and style for the bars. Excel will then add data bars to each cell, representing the relative value of each employee figure in the range. Creating color scales for visual representation of data Suppose you have a table of test scores for a class, and you want to see which students scored the highest and lowest. To do this, select the range of cells containing the test scores, then go to the Home tab and click on the Conditional Formatting drop-down menu. Select Color Scales, then choose a color scale that represents your data well. Excel will then apply the chosen color scale to each cell, with the highest scores being represented by the brightest colors and the lowest scores being represented by the dimmest colors. Using icon sets to represent data let's say you have a list of products and you want to see which products have the highest and lowest sales. To do this, select the range of cells containing the sales figures, then go to the Home tab and click on the Conditional Formatting drop-down menu. Select Icon Sets, then choose an icon set that represents your data well. Excel will then add icons to each cell, representing the relative value of each sales figure in the range. As you can see from the screen it has make the three ranges. The lower range is from 0 to 100 and the icon is the down arrow. The middle range is above 100 and the icon is the right arrow. And the last range is highest range and the icon is the up arrow. Conditional formatting is a powerful tool that can help you analyze and interpret data more effectively. I hope you found it helpful and informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more helpful tips and tutorials.